Hi, I'm Laurie Collins from the Ipswich Town Library. Um, I have a little chicken friend here today. He said he wants to hear one of his favorite stories. It's called Chicken Little. And his favorite one is written and illustrated by Rebecca and Ed Emberley. Right? Your favorite one? Yes, he says. Yep. So, the Ipswich Public Library got a uh, Library Science Technology Act grant a few years ago through the board, Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners. And with that, we created some art manipulatives to use in our Mother Goose and story times. We got special permission from Ed Emberley, who um, is lucky enough to, we're lucky enough to have him live close by, for Michelle Govendron who works at the library to make these amazing flannel boards to go along with this story. So here we go, Chicken Little by Rebecca and Ed Emberley. Chicken Little. Huh? And here is Chicken Little. Chicken Little was not the brightest chicken in the coop. He was very excitable and prone to foolishness. One day, he was doing nothing, his usual pastime, when an acorn fell from the sky and hit him on the head. Bonk. Eep. Here he is. It knocked him senseless. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, he exclaimed. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. I must run for my life. So he grabbed his umbrella to protect his scrambled noggin and ran out into the world without much of a plan. It was not too long before he bumped into Henny Penny. Bonk. Where are you going in such a rush, he squawked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, Chicken Little panted. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. We must run for our lives. Oh my, said Henny Penny, and being witless herself, joined in without any further questions. And off they ran, still no plan. Within minutes, they ran into Lucky Ducky. Bonk, ack. Here's Lucky Ducky. he quacked. Why are you in such a hurry? Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, how chicken little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. Henny Penny could not catch her breath, so she said nothing. And not wanting to be left out, Lucky Ducky joined in and off they ran and still no plan. Moments later, they ran into Lucy Goosey. Honestly, with names like these, is it any wonder? Bonk, onk. Here's Lucy Goose. Why don't you watch where you're going? She honked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, rest, Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. Oh, what a bother, I better come with you. What's the plan? Asked the goose. But we know the answer to that, don't we? No time for a plan, they puffed. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, and off they ran. As it was growing dark, they ran into turkey, lurkey, bonk, oop. Here's the beautiful turkey lurkey. How dare you, he gobbled. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, croak chicken little, this guy is falling and we are running for our lives. No time to explain. And off they ran. Oop, ack, onk, ack, eat, bonk. Soon the anxious little flock grew tired 
they were not used to all this running. Then they ran into Foxy Loxy. My, my, rumbled the fox. Where are these little birdies going at such a frantic pace? Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, gasped Chicken Little, who is now quite out of breath. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. Oh my goodness indeed, said the fox. We must find a place for you to rest. Step inside this warm, dark cave where the sky cannot fall on you. Without another thought, in their tired, feathered heads, oh my gracious, the flock went forward gratefully into the warm, dark cave. You squawked the hen. It stinks in here. And the floor is squishy and wet, quacked the duck. Uh-oh, gobbled the turkey. Oh no, honked the goose. Ah, ah, ah. Choo! Oh look, there was so much going on inside the fox's mouth that he sneezed out all these silly birds. And look, here they are. Once more, one more time. And then, look, there they are headed home. So if you like this book, you might want to do a little of this at home, right? Okay, my friends, thanks for joining for this story. Come and see us again soon.